Hey guys, it's Mr. Leonidas here. I hope you're doing well. And I'm out here at the river. It's a beautiful day. Uh, got a lot of wind coming through, so uh, pardon that noise, if you will. Sorry about that. It's just one thing when you go outdoors, it's something you have to deal with sometimes. But I thought I would do a quick video showing the Tramontina machete. Uh, this is the one Survivor Life gave me. I had that video up on YouTube. I did an unboxing of a package he sent me not too long ago. This is an older Tramontina machete. Uh, I believe it was over 20 years old. And the handle was beat up. It had a, the blade was uh, rusted up. So what I've done here, I rehandled it. It's a red oak handle. I put three pins through it. They're originally just two pins, brass pins. So there's three in it now, really strong. I uh, used a heavy duty epoxy to get it all together. Made a lanyard hole, nice grooves, very comfortable handle. I also spray painted what I call jungle cam. It's like a more green version of multi-cam that turned out really well. On the left side, I just left the uh, natural patina on it and uh, I'll do that on bigger blades sometimes because since I'm right-handed when I chop the scraping on that side and so I tend to not put uh, my paint on on that side sometimes uh, sometimes I'll paint both sides of the blade but occasionally with a large blade uh, I thought it'd be neat just to have the camo on one side and the natural patina on the other but I'm, I'm just really happy with this machete it's a uh, I uh, resharpened it it's a uh, wicked uh, sharp edge on it. just a uh, awesome machete overall and uh, the Tramontinas are made in Brazil uh, really good uh, steel in it I mean just you know robust uh, easy to put an edge on and it stayed very sharp with what I've worked with it just uh, just really like it so thanks again to survive to life for this machete and I really hope uh, you like how it turned out I'm really happy with it and I keep it in um, this setup here it's a pack frame sheath setup I've got a wool blanket and a tarp and I keep my cold steel tomahawk on there the uh, trench hawk and this stays in my vehicle actually so it's a pretty good setup it's an emergency setup uh, for like an overnight if stay enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you can comment i'd love to read and respond uh, share the video if you can and also subscribe mr leonidas signing out